Okay, guys, part two. Now, my teammates who I've never met before are escorting the tank. It's still in one piece, or we wouldn't be playing. And me, I'm score streak hunting. I'm looking specifically for shield turrets. Now, here in this run through, I had my turret I had the points to get. The remote turret, which will sense through smoke and kill its enemies. You need that for the second ammo dump. First ammo dump is wave two. Wave one, in front of the supermarket, you take out with your guns. There's a turret. All these buildings have score street boxes. Ammo crates, they call them. And there you have it. I have three turrets. Now, because this is open lobby, everybody's not mic'd up, but you can still yell on your mic to the Xbox players if you have something. So I have told them just now, whoever was listening, that I have three turrets. See, there is an RPG, missed the tank. That Havoc started to take some damage. I'm always looking behind for bots trying to flank us. Now there's a foul that I traded my pistol for. I took off a, uh, a dead bot. I like the foul because it carries a lot of rounds. There's my LMG. And there's the RPG building that has a lot of uh, RPG bots on it. It also has score streak boxes inside it. Now one of these players knew that. There he goes. We thinned out the bots, and look where he's going. Straight into the building. Whatever score streak he's looking for, I'm sure I holy, surely hope he finds it. Also, a tip. Intel is in this building. In the two bathrooms on the other side, at the most there's one bot guarding it. It's in the sinks. So if you haven't gotten the intel for this mission, go to those two bathrooms. Ground floor of the side of the building. There is no second floor internal on this building. There he is looking at the boxes. So I went out to see what the what was left of wave one. And the habits just starting to turn the corner. Usually we'll miss the last uh, mine in the road. And there it is right there. I could have taken out the havoc. Other than that, I don't know if I hit him or whatever. Because you're playing with open lobby people. So, which makes it kind of cool. Makes it interesting and challenging. You don't have to be mic'd up to each other in the clan. All right, my roof man over there went down like an idiot. I went to get him. But by now, I've just been yelling on the mic to nobody in particular that I've got three turrets for them to use. So remember that guy inside the building? that was in there looking at the score street boxes? He heard me. He never talked, but he could hear me. I said, I've got the turrets. And there he is. So even though you're not talking to anybody in particular, Hopefully your teammates are hearing you. Now the whole purpose of this is to survive wave two outside the supermarket. This usually takes down the teams. First thing you want to do, get your back to the wall. These bots love to snipe you in the back. Some bot shooting at me. I don't have a clue where he is. Now I'm going to come in the building since things are calming down and they're running out of bots to kill. I'm going to come in and look around at the score street boxes because this is ammo dump two and this is the battle two and three. You think wave two is tough? This second ammo crate inside the building. And then the last one to, to finish the mission, they are beasts.
Okay, there's the ammo crate where the C4 and your photograph at, and lo and behold, this is Fourth Street box. I'm looking specifically for grenades and ammo because when I release two of these three turrets, I'm going to have two empty slots. So you've got to be proactive in this game. You can't be reactive. So knowing I'm going to give away these two turrets, I've got space for two boxes. I don't bother opening the door, I just smack through them. This is bots, this isn't a multiple player. Now when you get all four of these missions with over 500 points, you get the Liberation Trophy. And it's well earned. You've got to kill bots. You can't just camp and let your teammates win the mission. So we find that this is the one beast I can never get. I have walkthroughs on other three missions. This one is the finally undone, and I got the Liberation Trophy. So I feel pretty much a sense of accomplishment. Okay, I'm going over to the Havoc because it's got to get by those wooden crates to be in position. When you get near it, it goes forward. Okay, so now my next step, yell at the guys in particular, get ready for wave two. I'm going to put the turrets up. I'm next to the building. I don't even know if somebody's listening. First turret right here, they're going to spawn out of the building. I'm arming it. Got my perspective. That's the field. Now the second turret overlooked the ammo crate, number one. To the left of that red truck. Perfect. I yell at nobody in particular, there's your turrets, go get them. I'm going to start the wave. They don't know what I'm doing because nobody came over. You have to photograph the ammo box. It starts the wave. And I get hit immediately. Now our danger here is the turquoise building standing here being on our left, that lower roof where the player is. If you don't have a player up there, I myself will go up there if nobody knows what I'm talking about. They will spawn and kill you guys at the turrets. Okay, so basically we burn these guys out and then we'll flip over quick to inside the building to the next ammo dump, ammo dump two. That'll be a boss battle. That's where I would put up the remote turret. See, he's not watching the sniper up there and they're taking us down. He's probably participating, but again, it's open field, open room. You play with anybody. Keeps the game interesting. So the turrets, as you see, they're pretty happy. They're wiping out the box. So we're going to switch real quick, real quick to inside, to the second ammo dump. I did a lot of editing on this. It's a long game. I even used different teams. Okay, here's the boss battle inside. There's the dump. Ammo crate. They're trying right now. He's trying to put C4 on it. Now, we had a guy at the end with that we succeeded. They had put a shield turret right there on the left on the ground floor. He had the other side of the, of the ammo crate. So basically, you got to keep them from putting the C4 on it. And the juggernaut will come up right here. So now here's round three, which is the outside dump and the final bomb. The key here is is to get your back to the building. Notice where everybody's at? And when the juggernauts chase you, go inside the building, to the right right there, and make them go in circles. Here's tanks. We're under assault by five tanks. The internet and YouTube pros say to kill the tanks. Wrong. I'm trying to kill this tank, and I'm just, there's no need to. I'm doing what the internet said to do to my partners here, who I don't even know, are basically, uh, Getting ready, there goes the bot sliding outside the wall. You don't go outside the wall after the tanks. You shoot that a helicopter will come over, you've got to shoot the hind. If you have a helicopter, tanks you don't have to kill. You do have to shoot the hind. You may not kill it, but it'll run off. So they get in the bombs, they got it, and suddenly the exfil chopper's there. All tanks are alive, we kill no tanks, all bots are outside the wall. And the easiest exfil I had in all these four missions. Can you believe that? Liberation trophy, guys. Now, if you can do it with an open room, so can I, and so can anybody. So, good luck, and we can, you know, it's just take the challenge as it comes. Enjoy the liberation trophy.